Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and another edition of Six O'Clock Spurs with my partner in crime, Jack Bryden. How are you, Jack? Good, you? Very well, we're basking in the glow of yesterday's performance against Woolwich at the Emirates. So we've got a bit of news for you based around that. First of all, Brad Friedel has been on TalkSport. He's not just a Spurs ambassador, he's also a, a famous TalkSport talker these days. And he has said that he is tipping us for the top four this season. I've got a quote for you, he says, Pochettino has done a very good job and long may it continue. Chelsea are well off the pace and there's a great opportunity for Spurs to get into the top four. Jack, what do you think? I don't really want to say too much about top four, but I'm loving the way we're playing. I really enjoyed yesterday. Even though we drew, I thought it was, you know, I thought our performance was awesome. I, as I say, I don't really want to say too much about top four. Do you think we can get it? I do, I do. Uh, and I'll tell you why later on in another piece of news. But more importantly, do you know, do you think Brad is just, is that propaganda from Brad Friedel because he works for the club still? Or is that, you know, his genuine opinion? Because he also talked a bit about how, how training under Pochettino is and how hard it is and how he feels the boys are all together. So do you think he, he's, he's really feeling that? There's that real feel-good factor at the club? Yeah, I mean, obviously, everyone wants to be positive about the club. Um, and as I say, it's been reflected in our performances. It seems to be working as a team as well, which, uh, as a Spurs fan, haven't felt that for years. Yeah. And it just feels like we're doing all the right things. Poch has got us doing all the right stuff. Yeah. I'm excited. Don't want to get too excited about it. You don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. He doesn't want to jinx it. Fair enough, he's not going to jinx it, guys. Let us know if you think we can finish in that top four and whether Brad is being propaganda e or just being honest e. Uh, okay, second bit of news today. Our former manager, Appy Airy Redknapp, says he thinks we could be title contenders next season. He, uh, he was talking about what it was like when he was in charge of the club and we had a great first half of the season. Then January came along and we didn't splurge the cash. He was basically having a, a thinly veiled dig at Daniel Levy and he was wondering whether we will splash the cash this January. What do you think? Um, yeah, well, mm, we have to. Really, how, much do you think we Levy, have to... how much do you think Levy would need to spend for us to <coughs> guarantee top four this January? A lot. Well, Palais go for ridiculous amounts these days, so you're looking at probably about 30. 30 mil. 50. 50 mil. Well, we know he's not going to spend that. So what Harry, I think, was saying is that he thinks because Levy won't splash the cash in January, he, think we, he thinks we'll kind of possibly get top four. But then he says next season, with a possible transfer, transfer splurge in the summer, he thinks we could be title contenders. Is that a little bit pie in the sky? Yeah. I, look, I don't want to say that we're going to do all this stuff because I've genuinely... We've got the potential in a few years' time, if we keep the players, mm. which we invariably don't. don't. Mm. Um, Jack's, Jack's very nervous about saying something on camera that then will come back to haunt someone him. someone will be like, Ah, oh, you said we'd win! And yeah. But I think, basking in the glory of yesterday's positivity, I'm going to say, Harry might have something there, he might have something there. Okay, next bit of news. Uh, we all knew that during the game yesterday, Super Yamba Tongan and uh, crap-haired Olivier Giroud had a little bit of a battle, but we've seen some close-up photos today and it's been revealed he did a Vinnie Jones like Vinnie did on Paul Gascoigne. He grabbed his, what would you call it? His Nuts. manhood. Nutsack. I was, trying to be, um, I was trying to be a little coy and careful about it, but yeah, he grabbed his scrotum, his scrotum. Uh, <laughs> Do you think that was, uh, you know, was he, was he, you know, was that him trying to get Giroud sent off, or was he, you know, it's gamesmanship? Gamesmanship. It? It's, I, I love it. Nothing more to it than that. No. You love it. I, I love that sort of thing. Like, obviously, I've not played at a, a similar level, but that sort of thing, trying to get people riled and that. Yeah. If you, as a Spurs fan. Yeah, I'm doing that. If it was the other way around, then no. Absolutely right. Guys, let us know what you think about him, uh, about Subian grabbing Olivier Giroud's uh, manhood. Uh, and uh, final bit of news today. And this comes from a little bit of mathematics that I have done myself. Uh, compared to the uh, same fixtures that we had last year, that we've had so far this year, we are currently six points ahead of where we were with the comparable fixtures last year. I should also note that last year we missed out on Champions League football by six points. Uh, but the only difference being, in my opinion, that, of course, last season's top four was made up of Chelsea, Arsenal, Man City and Manchester United. But this season, Chelsea are currently 10 points below us. So, all things pointing in the right direction. Yeah. But you're unwilling to say more than that, yeah, aren't you? I, look, I think it's, I think it's incredibly I'd... positive. It's been a great start. We can go into this international break feeling delighted to be Spurs fans. How often does that happen? Never. Never, Never. exactly. So, don't worry about being jinxed. Let's just enjoy this couple of weeks. We've got West Ham at home next. We can turn them over, maybe. It won't be easy, but we can turn them over. 
let's look forward to this couple of weeks and just mm, enjoy the, the sweet smell of being Spurs. What does that smell like? Muffins. Muffins. Warm muffins. Guys, let us know if you agree with what we had to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Jack, what have you got left to say? Go on, you Spurs! Go on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby outside the Bill Nicholson pub. Woolid somehow got away with a one all draw there. I've got Adam with me, he's got a cigar out. You must be happy, Adam. What do you think of the game? No, no, I think it was a decent performance from the team. For looking at the last three years, we had a decent back four. 